is National Doctor's Day, so we're going to read a book called Doctor by Busy People. And can you see me, Miss Dylan? I'm on here for you, partly. I heard you missed seeing me. All right. When people are sick or hurt, Dr. Miranda helps them feel better. She works in a doctor's office. Good morning, doctor, says the receptionist. You have lots of people to see. It's going to be a busy day. Dr. Miranda's first patient has a swollen ankle. Oh, dear Olivia, may I take a look? Asks Dr. Miranda gently. She feels Olivia's leg and ankle, asking her where it hurts the most. Dr. Miranda thinks Olivia needs an x-ray. She tells Olivia's mommy to take her to the hospital. Just to check that nothing is broken, says Dr. Miranda. Well, you get your x-rays at the hospital, and they check to make sure that uh, your bones aren't broken, but there's a special machine they have to use, and not all doctor's offices have them. Next, Dr. Miranda gives twin babies their shots, examines a boy with chicken pox, checks a pregnant woman's blood pressure, and listens to a man's chest with her stethoscope. It's been a very busy morning already. Now Dr. Miranda has to call patients who are sick, are too sick to leave home. She asks them questions and then decides how to help them. Dr. Miranda is about to eat lunch when the receptionist enters and says, can you see one more patient this morning, doctor? Doctors are very, very busy people. Jimmy has just arrived at the doctor's office for an emergency appointment. His daddy explained that he has had a cough and a high temperature. Dr. Miranda asks whether Jimmy has a rash or any other symptoms. No, he's just been sleeping a lot today, haven't you, Jimmy? His daddy asks. Hmm... Dr. Miranda takes Jimmy's temperature with her thermometer. Then she looks at his ears with an otoscope. Say, ah, she tells Jimmy, ah. Jimmy says, opening his mouth wide. Then she looks at the back of his throat using a special stick. Next, Dr. Miranda asks Jimmy to sit on the bed and take off his sweater. It feels cold. Dr. Miranda listens carefully to Jimmy's chest using a stethoscope. It feels cold and it tickles. My pages are sticking together. Dr. Miranda thinks Jimmy has a chest infection. She writes him a prescription for some medicine and asks him to come back in a few days if he's not better. You should feel well again soon, she tells him, waving goodbye. Thank you, doctor, says Jimmy. It's nice of the doctor to squeeze her in. Dr. Miranda checks her afternoon schedule with the receptionist. What a busy day it's been. Dr. Miranda just has a to make one more call before she can go out for lunch. So, as you can see by this story, Dr. Miranda is very busy and a lot of doctors have a lot of patients that need them quite often, especially these days. Um, so, Dr. Miranda has many jobs. Uh, she takes house calls. She sends people to the hospital if they need more care. She gives shots to keep people from getting sick. She gives people their test results. Uh, and some things that she needs are a computer, a stethoscope, a prescription pad to write medicines on, telephone, thermometer, an otoscope to look in their ears, and tongue depressors so that she can hold down tongues to see backs of the throat. Other busy people here are some of the other busy people doctors work with. A receptionist. Receptionists make appointments, get test results from the hospital, and look after patients' records. Pharmacists. Pharmacists are highly trained and know all about medicines. They fill prescriptions and also give health advice. Nurses. Nurses bandage scrapes and cuts, give health advice, take blood for tests, and treat other non-serious ailments. Ailments means that something's wrong, like you're sick. Ambulance drivers. Ambulance drivers take people who are very sick or injured to the hospital so they can see a doctor quickly. So, I hope that you enjoy playing with your doctor kits that I sent home and that you enjoy the story about doctors and remember to say thank you to them when you see them and to be kind and follow their directions.